it leaves today. Tow truck is here, outside. Finally being loaded on the trailer. Ready to go tune. All right, and the drift cat is here, safe and sound. Turn accessories, everything turns on. And then we'll say vehicle not in park. That didn't work. So we can do a lot of crazy things, just. <laughs> not the BCM. Not the BCM. Hello, I'm Jensen. What's going on, guys? So we are here at Overkill Performance. I think this is episode 21 of building a manual Hellcat charger. Last video was just an update, but now I am here. We're gonna be trying a few different things. And right now, the homie in here trying to figure it out. So what we're thinking is there's still one plug that's not plugged into anything that used to go to the auto uh, shifter. So what we're thinking of is plugging in the auto shifter telling the car that it's either in park or neutral and it should start the car in theory that's what we're that's what we're thinking we're gonna try that we're trying to find the plug right now i brought the manual challenger bcm in case we gotta try that let's try and find this plug real quick because it's somewhere somewhere in here it's, well it's not a problem the pins aren't going to be in the right place so he told me that the plugs right in it plugs right in, but unless you want to short something out, these pins are so in the wrong we're, place. So what we're thinking of doing is plugging this into a Chrysler 300 shifter instead of the charger shifter because it's a, a dial rather than, you know, a big ass knob or whatever. We ran into another issue. So this plug does not plug directly into the Chrysler 300 shifter. So what Bro's doing right now is he put a charger style shifter in his Chrysler 300 so he had to kind of make his own pigtail wiring harness to be able to plug into the charger style one so we're basically gonna pull that out of his car and then be able to plug this plug into the Chrysler 300 shifter and see if that will tell the car that it's in park and we'll be able to start it because we have brake okay Turn accessories, everything turns on. And then we'll say vehicle not in park. Everything still works and stuff. It's just vehicle not in park. So once we tell it it's in park, hopefully, hopefully it'll start right up. But that's where we're at right now. Vehicle not in park. When you Turn on the run, you hear the fuel pump kick in, you hear everything prime, it's just vehicle not in park. So if this doesn't work, then this doesn't work. But at least we'll know. So plugging in the Chrysler 300 shifter now to well, see. This is a Challenger shifter. Oh, it's a Challenger shifter. So go ahead, All right, charger. All right, so that's lighting up. Flash of red, that's not a good sign. Will not in park. All right, try and uh, go ahead. Service transmission. Hold on, until you reach the dock, you may be able to shift. Train starting. Oh. Yeah, so. Vehicle not in park. So that didn't work. That's at least one theory down. Honestly, thought that might have done something. So we gotta figure out how to trick the system to tell it that it's either in park or neutral. So that way we can get this thing started. Cause as you guys see on the dash, vehicle not in park. It's no good, not good at all. I wonder if he tried pushing the clutch in and the brake pedal at the same time to try and start it. What's up Josh? <laughs> How you been? I've been okay, I've been better. 
So, he's been over here busting his ass trying to get this thing to work. We were in here earlier trying to get the Chrysler 300 um, shifter to tell it that it's in park. That didn't work. So, what have you done? Give everyone an update on everything okay. that you've um, tried pretty much. Yeah, so I mean, when we first got it, the hope was... Yeah, the hope was... What I was told was... Upload the file. All you gotta do, Josh, is upload the file, then you can tune, tune it, it, and it's gonna run. And, uh... That's what was going on in my brain. So I did that, <laughs> and then it didn't run. So, um, just doing a lot of research and stuff, the main thing that needs to be changed and adjusted on this is the body control module. It's a very hard thing to get done, basically because of people who steal these cars. The main thing they're doing is changing stuff out in the body control module, so it's hard to find people that'll do it. Um, they can do it, they just don't want to. They don't, they want, don't to want to put themselves in that position to, you know, get fooled into programming a stolen car or whatever. In this case, a lot different because this is the Drift Cat, this is in my name, all that good stuff. Yeah, so I mean, Hell, like I said, I put in, you know, 1500 of my own money kind of buying some programs and some things for him to be able to do that. Um, if we can't find somebody to do the body control module stuff, um, it's a white tech system that they use. If I have to, I might end up just buying it and relearning how to do it. Because we, we can make a lot of money if you do buy it. It's an investment. You can. You can. <laughs> it's an investment but, for sure. Do I want to work on body control modules and have to worry about somebody bringing me something stolen and then I fix their body control module because they told me it's their car and then the cops show up at my shop and I have to deal with it? That's the reason people don't want to work on it. That's the reason people don't want to work on it because the risk of doing it isn't worth the reward. I don't need the money that bad to risk being on radar because I'm changing people's body control modules. Yeah. Um, but you know if it's a necessity then we'll do what we got to do to get it running it's gonna work this it's not a matter of an if it's a win um there's a lot of different gatekeeping there's a lot of gatekeeping for going sure. on with this swap for sure for sure anyone that's done it before doesn't want to tell me every single thing that they've done. and i don't know why it's not like we're, yeah we're gonna start we're not this. in competition i just want to have fun in my car and kick clutch yeah i would gladly never do this again <laughs> never like right so uh yeah that's kind of the main thing but we're, we're gonna get it figured out we just want to get it done i know we had the event that we're gonna be missing up coming up here for the drift fox or sorry not the drift, the drift fox too <laughs> but the drift fox and the drift cat um we just want to get it out the content's gonna go crazy yeah so all you guys out there that's basically what we're looking to do i know some of you guys got people you guys know people um unfortunately i do everything by the book boo hoo <laughs> Oh my goodness. We need someone to reprogram a BCM to tell it that it's meant. We need one of your backyard homies <laughs> who can bring their wide tech system and do it. Uh, we understand it's going to cost. Don't try and gouge us. Yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll give you some promo as well. Send business your yeah. way so it's fair. You plenty, know. plenty, plenty of business, plenty yeah. of business. Um, but the big thing is, is we want to have this thing together so you guys can get some cool content. Once this gets figured out, once the brakes get figured out with the, the secondary brake caliper and stuff on that, drift cast gonna be kind of crazy. This thing's gonna be a monster. You know, next after that, we'll figure out how to do some uh, some extendos for the front. I've talked to, you know, AAD Performance? Yeah, yeah. They said they got a kit in the yeah. works and they're gonna send one to me to do some testing. Shout out to our AAD guys. We Hell use them yeah. for a lot of our suspensions on our cars. You know, my guys are back there working on them right now, doing the same thing. Probably the best suspension arms out there. They're, they're really nice. B, B Woody's really nice as well, but I think AAD just on the, the billet spectrum, you know, yeah. it's, different it's different materials. It's yeah. different. I think too, B Woody is in a space of more quality, more affordable the quality and the price. Quality, yeah. And they were the first, right? For you sure, know, like sure. every, it's easy for everybody to kind of come behind B Woody and, you know, because when we first started this, all the records that I was breaking early on were on B Woody suspension. The first 1.3 yeah. 60 foot in a track hawk yeah. B Woody suspension. You know, so you know, shout out to those guys. But AAD, it's billet, mm -hmm. and it's it's really <laughs> nice stuff. But it's also two, three, four times the cost. Yeah. But you get what you pay for. So there's something for everybody on that on that on that uh, uh, horizon. But yeah, we're we're figuring it out. We're gonna get it. I pretty, it's not really even so much figuring it out. The time frame is getting the people to do what we need them to do. We know what yeah. we need to fix. We need the body control module done. 
there's a lot of ways where people like here piggyback this and splice this and plug this in and do this the correct way <laughs> is to do the body control module that way when you start the car it's not telling you to step on the brake and put it in park yeah do a bunch of other crazy yeah it's shit. gonna literally tell you just simply pressing the clutch and press the button and it's gonna start um it's not fucking rocket science excuse my french <laughs> um it's very simple um we just need to be able to do that and why how we do that is basically the body control module for those who don't know i'll get into my boring spiel <laughs> speed up the next one minute if you want to not know anything and just be ignorant about it but the reason that the body control module exists is it takes the information that comes from anything in the car it goes to the body control module and it discerns what happens so the body control module in some retrospects is more important than your pcm and your tcm because mm -hmm. your body control module helps those two things communicate. It helps your 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 dash communicate. Yeah, your windows, your everything. The body control module is actually the brain, yeah. not the PCM. You know, um, so on that, the PCM is really just the program. The PCM is more like your memory inside of the brain. But yeah. the thing that actually does the work is for sure going to be something along the lines of your body control module. So what we needed to do is the body control module right now is looking for, one, the TCM, the inside the transmission. It's also looking for parameters to start the car that are built into it, which is press the brakes, put it in park. So by reprogramming the body control module, what that's going to let us do is then the car is going to tell this, like it would on a Challenger, to just press the clutch in. We have the clutch grounded out. It's going to be able to start the car while it's in neutral. The reason that we can't use the Challenger's one, because somebody in the comments is gonna say that, <laughs> just put the one from the Challenger, is the same thing. His VIN is not coded to the body control module. Mm -hmm. The key is not control, con coded to the body control module. The PCM is not coded to the body control module. So if we put the Challenger body control module in, we need a new tune. He's gonna need new credits. He's gonna need Hold a up. new key. And guess what? He's still gonna have to program the body control module with this vent. <laughs> we'll be in the <laughs> same exact yeah, position so we're in. That's right. why you can't just swap that over, right? Yeah. Um, so end all be all, it's really not that big of a deal. We're not making this into some big brand issue. It's a really simple process. We already have the tune and everything's already in it, ready to go. Yeah. Um, after that, then the next step is just finishing, making sure it runs good. Um, we went through doing some maintenance things as far as changing belts. The fluids are being changed. Um, then after that, break in the clutch and have some fun with it. So we're getting, we're getting close. Um, there's no mystery behind it. We know what we need to do to get it fixed. That's why if you guys have a guy that can do body control modules, a legit person that can do body control modules, because uh, that's the biggest thing. Um, let us know because everybody <laughs> wants to gatekeep and act like they don't want to do it or they want to charge you a bunch of money yeah. and then still are super shady about it and uh we're not trying to get jensen scammed <laughs> because then you guys are gonna have to buy way more merch so that he can do this all over again so and that's the last thing i want to do is do this shit all over again but that's where we're at we really need to reprogram the bcm bro's on the phone with dodge right now trying to get that plugged in but that's where we're at so stay tuned we're gonna get this thing going. these are some of the softwares and programs that Josh has already been trying so we got one here oh yeah so basically for some of the programs it's nothing special just they're different modules so this is gonna be a J module they call these Tatric cables use these for Evos and Subaru tunes and stuff like that these are going to be a another style uh, code reader for the Bluetooth ones that you can plug in. That didn't work. <laughs> and so then we have the launch cable, which you know the launch cable is the more expensive one. So we use these ones when we're programming. Uh, like say you have a unlocked PCM, we got to program the uh, all the parameters on it. We can actually do that. So some people can't even do that. So hmm. if you come to the shop, we already have unlocked PCMs. We could take your information from your PCM you have and then transfer it in-house, you know, okay. if, as long as we have the PCM unlocked. So we can do a lot of crazy things, just... <laughs> not the BCM. Not the BCM. Really just need to get a hold of someone that can tune the BCM. All right, so leaving the car here once again, we just need to find someone to either reprogram the auto charger BCM to tell it that now it has a manual transmission or find someone to program the 
Challenger manual BCM to tell it that it's a Charger vehicle now and we'd have to reprogram it to uh, we'd have to reprogram it for one my key and two my VIN so either way we have to reprogram the BCM so that's where we're stuck on uh, like I said if anyone has any type of connections to be able to program a BCM if you're the service manager at a Dodge dealership I'm sure you got the software to do it or if you know anyone that's a service manager at the Dodge dealership I'm sure they can get it done it's just a lot of people don't want to do it like Josh was explaining earlier there's a lot of stolen cars and stuff out there so they don't want to get entangled and all that this situation we don't have to worry about that we're just trying to get it programmed it's just we got to find that person so hopefully we find that person uh he's gonna get a call tomorrow from someone that's a really credible source so hopefully we'll get this thing on the road but yeah that's that's the end of this one we tried a bunch of different methods today i drove two hours out here i'm gonna drive two hours home just to test these little methods but it's worth it if we get the car done but we did not figure it out today we'll figure it out another day anyway thank you guys for watching i appreciate it make sure you like subscribe comment share hit the bell thumbs up all that stuff also make sure you guys follow overkill performance on instagram and uh i'll catch you guys in episode 22 i think i forgot what episode we're on but thank you guys for following along thank you for caring about this series because i've been pulling my hair out stressing like you guys don't even really you might understand but obviously you know i make money from driving the car and not being able to drive the car and only spending money on it it's kind of <laughs> it's a little bit of a stressful situation but hopefully we get it figured out soon i'll get to kick clutch and kill tires and a bunch of shit but that's the end of this one thank you guys love you see you in the next one deuces